Hey there, folks! Comet here! And... This is one of my personal favorite games of all time. As you can see, it's Pirate's Gold! I received a lot of requests for this one. I'm talking about when I did it the first time, it was one of my first games I ever done. Like, literally, it was one of the first ones I ever did. It, 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 it had a, a, such an amazing response for it. They loved it, and I love playing it. It is one of the best games you can ever play, hands down. If you have a chance to play it, play it. It's for the Sega Genesis, this particular one, but you can also find it on the Commodore 64, where I first played it. And I just showed my age. <laughs> anyway, uh, the game is pretty much like this. What's, what's going on is you have to uh, know that your pirate is going to be a pirate captain and his little spiel is to become the greatest pirate dude of all time. Depends on what you want to do. You can always start a brand new career, which we'll be doing very shortly. Start another save game, if any. Command a famous expedition! What this does is pre-made stuff. You get everything right off the beat, a particular period, blah 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 blah. Want to learn about sword fighting? Fight a duel! Want to be the Hall of Fame? Oh look, there's nobody on it! But, let's start a new career. Now, everything is at a particular time period. From 1560 to 1680. We're going to start in maybe 1640. But, and each one of them has different nationality details. There's the flags. There's the English, the French, the Dutch, or the Spanish Renegade. Now, say you're in 1560s. Notice you only have three. One, two, three, and zip. Now, we're going to go 1640 for us. Now, go figure what we're going to name the man. <laughs> this is your char character's family name. Now, you can choose the uh, difficulty level. Do you want him to be super cool or just still learning? For this particular one, I'm going to apprentice. Now, uh, this is your special ability stuff. Basically, what do you want your pirate captain to be good at? I'm going to be real good at. This is his swordplay. How well he drives the boat. How well he shoots cannons out of that boat. That's skill and gunnery, of course. How well he can get the ladies that drop their panties. That's what Wit, Wit, Wit and Charm does for you, effectively. And to let you know a big secret, if you really go with Wit and Charm, you have got enough good rank, uh, the ladies will squeal secrets. And it'll say something like, the governor's daughters found super interest in you, and she agreed to be an informant. It's very sneaky. And the skill of medicine, well, hell, you live longer. Ha ha! We're going with, with Char we're going with and charm, boys. I just love charming the panties off the ladies. Ka -ka! Now, yeah, young pirate, da -da 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 -da, commander of the ship, and now I'm gonna have to kick his ass. Oh, oh no fair! He gets the. Um... I'm gonna kill you, Kaka! No fair! You're using the. Uh, I didn't hit anyone. Oh, I'm runner! Like, asshole. Now we win! Hooray! We got this hard! Ha 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 ha! Now we're in English territory. Oh, we actually have a governor. Cool. We're in Eleutheria. Now let's start things off like these. This is the ship right. Now you can sell the number of cannons you got or the craft, if any extra. He buys off any any craft. He'll repair them and whatever. But this is the uh, main screen you'll be looking at a lot. And uh, let's start things off with the crew status. Now, right now we have no goods. I'm going to use my little mouse pointer here. And the food, I run out of that, you're dead. Or the crew will go crazy or some weird crap. I've never had that problem. Of course, I'm a bloodthirsty killer in this game. Go figure. Now here's the number of cannons, how many we have to shoot with. This is the, the amount of gold we have. This is our crew status. This means that as long as the crew's happy, you can continue killing stuff. Because, well, if they're happy, they fight harder. Additionally, uh, the more men you have, the, the harder it is to keep them happy. Ugh. And this is the number of people I've got right there, which is 40, and this is our ship, it's a bark. It's a small craft, don't worry. It's, it's actually very, believe it or not, it's very adequate. Now, this is the personal status. What was happening here is, here's the character's family name, his age, his health, which is fine, and his gold in his land. Now, this will all increase big time. Now, the reputation is, is he's a promising apprentice, i.e., just starting. 
But he has a letter of marquee from the English. That means, uh, we agree not to attack the English, but we attack everybody else unless they're, you know, allies of the English. So let's check the ship's log, what we do last. Okay, so... England at war with Spain? No problem! We're gonna be killing them here in a few minutes. Pirates, plunder, Santa Marta, da 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 Malaria strikes Panama? <laughs> Enjoy the disease, chumps. Here's Holland, allies with England, so that means the Dutch and the English are allies. Do not attack the Dutch unless you want to piss off the English and the Dutch. India attacks Santa, Santa Catalina and uh, visited Luthria. And over here's your save game. If you need it, I will not. This is the merchant right here with the barrel. What you do here is you sell off or buy anything you need. I'm buying food because I don't want my people to starve. <laughs> a fed person is a happy person. Now, in the side of the tavern, you can recruit people like this, or get information, or get sold a treasure map, or just whatever. Sign up people, and that's it. And now, go to the governor, and we'll have a talk with him. My dear Mr. Cobbett, we are allied with the Dutch in a world with the Spanish. Now, if you're cool enough, you'll start talking to the daughter. If you're cool enough. Now, another thing you want to do, most important, is look at your map. Now, we way to hell up here. Now, uh, up here is... Ooh, it's a Dutch town right there. And this is... Now, t the, the color of the name of the town, it tells you what it is. This means it's English. That means it's Dutch, because it's green. Now, the white is Spanish. And the other one is uh, French, which is purple. Come on up. See, that's the French one right there. See? And right here, it gives you the information. It says who they are. How they're doing, how, how, what, what the defenses are, approximately, how many soldiers they got, how many citizens they got, and how much money they got. Wow! And we're going to be using Barbados as our HQ, because we're going to go down here, and we're going to be killing us some people. Because we're going to be taking some stuff over, and stuff like that. But we're going to be doing some traveling. What we're going to do is go down here like this, and capture any ships on the way. Tack these. Now, this is what we want to do. No, we don't. That's French. Actually, French wouldn't be a bad idea. But La Vega? For sure, for sure, because we can take that over. But we need to get the rich ones, like this one. Now, notice how this one has a lot of money and everything on it. It's going to be harder to take down. But if you take it down, more money. Nay. Okay, San Vega. Now, Havana is the big one. See what I mean? That's the one you got to do with a lot of troops. You just bring all the pirates in there and you tackle it. It's really great stuff. And you got all the stuff over here. You go here like this. Now, they have nothing inland, except for Panama. Panama has a lot of stuff in it. See, we go down here, we'll do with this. So, folks, let us get to sailing. Now, you hold down the B button to speed up time, because if you don't, you're going to be here ten years trying to get it done. Now, this is, uh, English, so he's the Allies. And let you know what's going on. Whoops! Okay, now the little the little face down here represents the crew status. Woo! Now we have a small ship with a bark right now. But we're gonna come out here and we're gonna kill us uh, some Spaniards down this way. Alright! Hot damn, a pirate! My very first battle and I get a I get a well-known pirate. Looks like we're gonna go to Barbados first after all. And looks like I'm going to be capturing me a, a pirate. He's Marquis. We'll take your boat and your dignity, chumpy. He has a cutlass, the slowest weapon of the game. Rapier's the fastest. Fastest. Not fastest. Good gravy. Jesus Christ on a stick. I can't believe I said that. <laughs> it is the... It is the fastest weapon, and you have longsword, which is balanced. Yeah, we're keeping it. Now, you hold them for ransom. Don't ever have the information. Because, or don't ha don't let him give her information, because he'll feed you some BS. Like, one time I let one go, and what he said was, The boat is in Peru. Yippee, yahoo, that didn't tell us anything. Nah, we don't need anything yet. Now, this La Vega. It is indeed La Vega. Let's kill it. Oh, 
Now, I don't think we'll take it over, but if we do, that'll be fun. For me! Yeah, Kami got some mad dueling skills! Huh? 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 Kami got your number, bitch! Yeah, I stabbed you in the face! Nope, it didn't play. Well, I got a little bit. It means more for us, is all it means. Say thanks for... Say thanks to the nice people for letting us rob them, and now we're moving along. Let's go to Barbados and let's see if we can get some money for that Marquise. Because that's so much fun to do. I'm telling you what, it's just a blast. <laughs> Literally and figuratively. Oh, another pirate captain! Come to Papa! I must have been a really good boy this year. Yeah, we're over here, but our ship is over there, which is kind of funny. Here comes the Duke! Now, if the people, if, if the crew wants to mutiny on this guy, they'll join our side, which is kind of funny. Now, the little faces down there, like this right here and that right over there, represent, you know, how the crew views. Never ask him about anything unless you really want to. Always hold their sorry asses for ransom. That's just me personally. Now, nine sailors wish to join us, so we'll take them. Okay, and we're moving at ludicrous speed. No, 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 no. Now we're going to pull up the map with the A button. Now we're going to go over here to these little towns over here. Ugh. I don't think so. We're just going to go on to the English towns over here, because we need them. Whoops. Now I'm making time go a little bit faster because I we don't want to sit here. Whoops! <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, we don't want to sit around here all day. You know. Ooh, what they gotta say? What they gotta say? <laughs> now, when you go to the governor, what you want to do is say, um, let's see what the Dutch have to say. Nothing new. Okay, let's go. Now we're alive with the Dutch. We'll leave them alone for the moment. Oops. Going to the town here. Hmm. You know what, folks? Let's proceed on, because we haven't got time to wait. We're going to... For now, we haven't got time for that. Come on. This is where we want to be. It's an English town. And a governor to boot. Now we get rid of the stuff, that's how we make our money. In a minute, we're about to, you know, get some more. What I'm doing is getting some more food so we don't starve to death. And see how many troops we get. 35 guys, wow. Thank you. Now, this is the part where it gets great. Let's see if the governor will take this guy off our hands. Yeah. Give me ensign, baby. Oh yeah, by the way, the pirate has to recover his family, which is kind of fun. At Campiche. Yeah. She's being courted by Major Gilliford. We'll make pleasant conversation with that, uh, gem. Ugh, she wasn't truly outrageous. Let's just put it that way. Oh boy, here we go. Now, sometimes the guys will jump over. Damn! I didn't want that. Sailing down here, see if we can get a uh, ransom for stupid. Go inside the tavern, get some more guys, seven more jokers, yeah. See if they'll get some, um, nothing. Okay, now, he said something about Campiche. You have to attack the town to get the info, most likely. Campiche is probably where the hell over here now. Yep, there it is. Now, this is the irritating part of this game. Sometimes it's close, sometimes it's way the hell over here. You're stuck here, and you gotta sail all the way over there to get the info. Screw that shit. But, to get through the game, you gotta recover the, the sister, the, the father, the mother, the brother, you know, all the little family members, and they give you a map, and it's like worth a lot of money. And if you're not interested in any of that, you can say, screw this, and let's go kill people! Now, let's see. Okay, we have a barnacle, uh, two penises, and we got 50, 60, and thing. Crew is happy. 
We still have Duke Enriquez as a prisoner. I'm gonna go to Barbados here, and we're gonna go say, Hi, chump! Unless he jumps overboard like the other guy did, and that was extremely irritating. But, folks, hope you enjoyed it so far. I will continue this next time! This is Lord Kyle saying, have a good night all, and God bless.